I identify as Hello there. Gender. Hello there. What are you really? <laughs> lost faith in YouTube. I thought I did, but then I saw this, and now I have lost all faith in YouTube. Before I used to dislike things about YouTube that were to do with their bullshit terms of service, their copyright infringement, all that sort of stuff, but now I'm seeing the ideological stuff come out. Now I'm seeing the change of terms of service for this very vague harassment and bullying, scary looking hate speech censorship kind of thing that they have. And then they come out with this Tumblr ideology pushing bullshit. Okay, I understand the sentiment behind this video. I understand the whole, we need to unite together in love against the horrible stuff like the Orlando shooting and that kind of thing. But to me, this video is doing more harm than good. Because what I'm seeing are a bunch of people trying to do this puffy, rainbows, fluffy kind of happy bullshit when there could be a serious conversation going on to discuss what happened and how we can prevent these things happening by looking into what exactly was going on. And all of those sorts of conversations are being squashed because they're offensive. If you're gay, if you're bi, if you're trans, that's fine. You do you, that's fine. I have no problem with that. And I understand that this stuff that's happening right now seems pretty scary. So if you're speaking out about it, then that's very brave. And I think that's awesome. You should keep doing that. But if you're one of those non-binary, gender-fluid, demisexual washing machine pancake syrup genders, then grow the fuck up. Because you know what? You know how many genders there are? Two. Two genders. You can't invent another gender and just call it science, call it reality, and then completely reject everything else than reality just because you feel like there should be another gender. Just because you feel like you're not human and that you're actually a fucking raccoon or something. Don't make bullshit up just because your life is so boring that you feel that you need this whole other backstory with this victim complex just to make yourself feel better, just to make yourself the center of attention. Just because mommy and daddy used to pamper you all the time and never said no to you doesn't mean that that's going to happen in the real world. And if you get exactly what you want at the expense of other people, then you wonder why grumpy fucks like me are yelling at you on the internet. I'm not okay with it. You know what can actually help? Talking about the people in those countries that you think it's offensive to criticize that are being killed for being trans, for being bi, and all, for being gay and all that sort of stuff. People who are being persecuted just because of that reason. They're being oppressed, actually oppressed. And we are sitting there in your nice room with your good quality camera and complaining about how hard life is. That just makes you look like one of the most selfish people in the entire world. Why do you think no one likes SJWs? It's because you're squashing other people's rights and making things harder just because you think that you're better than everybody else. When there's real problems going on in the world, you're comparing yourself to people who are being killed just because someone didn't use your Z's, uh, it's pronouns. It just pisses me off how you peddle this LGBT rights bullshit when as soon as something like this happens and somebody's actually trying to speak out about the rights that are being destroyed, you just cry racist. You don't really give a shit about LGBT rights. You just give a shit about yourselves. You just give a shit about everyone who doesn't think differently to you and trying to squash them until they do. Until you get no other dissenting opinion because you think you're superior to everybody else. And now everybody sees it. But still, you push this video out and then after that you create this vague hate speech law because you know that there's a backlash against it and you think that you can stop the backlash against it. The reason that there's a backlash is because it's bullshit. Well, you know what I'm proud to be? I'm proud to be offensive. I'm proud to be someone who isn't afraid to talk about the things that you deem to be offensive and not cave in to your stupid standards and your censorship and your Orwellian doublethink. I'm proud to be oh so scary with my different opinions, and I don't need a hashtag to say that. The main reason I wanted to talk about this is because of all the unsaid words in this. All the things that they could have talked about, but they didn't, and they know that they could have talked about, but they didn't. All of the things that they imply with it as well. All of the things that they intentionally don't mention, just because they want to imply something. They want to push this kind of narrative that if you don't agree with exactly what they say, then you're just as bad as that guy who took that gun into that nightclub. And that's a very dangerous thing to do. You're comparing people talking to people being killed. You're comparing ideas to actual physical harm. And that's really bad. That's fear-mongering. That's censorship. That's trying to push people down and make them censor themselves. 
just because you can't handle it, just because you want to push something else. And I just think it's scary when it's coming from YouTube itself, because of all the censorship that's going around in Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, even though I don't use that in the first place, YouTube seems like, as broken as its system is, the only real place that we can actually freely talk out about this stuff, freely speak about all of the injustices and the lies that are going on. And it feels like that is rapidly changing. After YouTube, what am I gonna do? Where are we gonna go? I'm in a town where everybody believes all this feminist crap, and I'm basically a pariah at my school, and even to my parents just because I don't believe in this stuff. I'm walking on eggshells around them. They're fine with talking to me about stupid stuff like school, and what they did on the weekend, and how what hairstyle they're wearing today, but as soon as we start talking about feminism, as soon as I challenge the narrative, they completely shut me down. They think that I'm crazy, that, oh, how dare I oppose rights for myself for some reason, as if feminism speaks for me, and it doesn't. Things change, people change, that's why I'm against modern feminism, because it's hatred. And the only thing that I get when I talk about this stuff in the town that I live in is, but feminism sounds good, that means it must be good. Black Lives Matter sounds good, it must be good. How dare you talk about that? How dare you challenge my narrative that the TV told me? If I lose YouTube, where else am I going to speak about this? I'm going insane from the isolation and I think that I'm crazy. I feel like I'm crazy and then I actually got onto YouTube and I found other people like me and I found out I'm not crazy. So that's basically all I wanted to say right now. Next week I just have some other rants that I want to do about some other topics that cross my mind. But after that, I have this video that somebody asked me to respond to, and thank you for that, called Dear White People. And it's one of the, the most horrible things I've ever seen. If you still have some hope in humanity, I'm sorry. So it's going to take me a while to work on because it's pretty long and I have to figure out what bits I have to cut out, which parts I have to respond to. I'm trying to work on that. So in the meantime... Omnisexual, polysexual.